Another key layer of protection between your shingles and roof deck is the underlayment. So let's catch back up with our roofing contractor, Andy Lindis, and take a closer look at GAF's premium underlayment called Tiger Paw. Now Andy, once the ice and water shield has been installed, what's the next component in the re-roofing system? We're gonna install the GAF Tiger Paw underlayment over the entire roof, including where we just installed the ice and water shield. Really, so you go over top of it? Over the top. A couple of things that we like to do here. The majority of the roofing jobs that we install, we're also gonna be installing our leaf guard gutters with it. So having that Tiger Paw and that ice and water shield, a nice area to be able to slip our leaf guard flashing in between is nice. The other part is, the best analogy I've heard about what to think about the underlayment of the roof is, if you were to take water at the top of the roof and dump it, there should be some type of drainage plane. It should never be able to get to any type of bare wood. I mean, look at Whoa. how the water just beads off of that. It just rolls right off. So really, when I look at what you're trying to do here is put a raincoat on the roof. Exactly. So if any water does get underneath the shingles, it's never going to get back to bare wood. If it just gets on the tiger paw, it can do no harm. So that covers the roll of the underlayment product, but how is it fastened to the roof deck? We actually use cap nails, and the way my guys like to use it is a magnetic hammer. They think it's actually faster than using a hammer tacker anyway. Wow, I can't believe that. You know, I've always seen guys just running through on, usually it's on the felt underlayment, the old black stuff that's up there, and they just tack it down. Why is it advantageous to use cap nails? You ever notice like every time you hit that felt with a hammer tacker? <laughs> it, it tears. Like, it tears, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So the part that is your protectant, should the shingles fail, or should water get underneath the shingles, or you have an ice dam occur, that gets water underneath there, the part that is supposed to be protecting your roof decking from getting any type of moisture to it has a hole in it or a tear in it. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, so we cap nail our tiger paw over the entire roof. Do your installers find that to be advantageous as well? I mean, to me, nailing, it sounds like it might be less efficient than a tacker. I've had a couple of crews that always use cap nails, even before we required them too, because they think it's faster than the hammer tacker. You don't have to worry about staples, it's a magnetic hammer. When you get a good rhythm going, you have some practice at this, it's actually fun to watch. The guys are really good at it. Well, again, good peace of mind for the homeowner having a professional, experienced crew installing all of these products. I do have a question though. This roof doesn't have any rakes, but it has a lot of hips on it. When you get to the hip, Mm -hmm. That's that part going from the eave running up to the peak. Yeah. What happens there? How do you keep water from getting driven in up underneath there? So what we're going to do is we're going to run our tiger paw three inches over on the one hip, three inches over onto the other hip, giving us a six inch overlap. Once we have a six inch overlap and those are fastened with cap nails, we're going to take our ice and water shield again and run 12 inches down the entire hip, sealing the tiger paw to each other. Should there be any type of wind-driven rain that gets underneath the shingle or gets underneath the cap, it's gonna have to get through ice and water shield and basically two layers of tiger paw in that area protecting it. Again, not absolutely code, it's not required, but it's the way GAF prefers it done. In my opinion, that's never gonna allow any water, and especially if it's attached to the tiger paw. I mean, that is the ultimate rain guard for a home. So if you're a homeowner out there, ask your contractor, are you gonna create this system for my home? When you do as many roofs as we have, you start to realize that certain areas have a tendency to have rotten wood, where vent pipes go. Ice and water shield now is, goes on there to protect that. Up the rakes, in the hips, anywhere that has a potential leak, sidewalls, again, those are all areas that we see that we have to take time and replace rotten wood. So now when we do roofs, we do everything in our power to make sure no water gets to bare wood and causes rot again. I'm not thinking eight years down the road, nine years down the road, 10 years down the road. It's a 50 year warranty we're putting on this. And something that we do that no one else does, it's 50 years on the workmanship too. 25 years is what you normally get on the highest warranty from JF. With us, it's 50 years. Stick around. We'll continue with today's home remodeler after this message.